Hello lovelies, welcome back to the channel. It is finally time for my bedroom transformation video. I'm still sort of struggling with like what format to do a lot of the moving content in, so hopefully this works out okay, but we're getting there, we're going. I'm sorry it's taken so long, but I have been sort of constantly working away on it. Um, it's not done because I feel like with home decor you're never really done, but it's done enough for me to show you a transformation, I think. The walls and stuff are still a little bare, I don't really have like nearly as much art and other things hung up yet, but the basics are there and that's enough for now. And we can always do an update later. So yeah, I wasn't quite sure what way to do this video, but I think I am just going to run you through everything I've done so far and then I will show you how it is right now. I filmed as much as I possibly could with this process. My sort of rule for myself was to film everything you can, but don't put off doing something if I can't film, if that makes sense. So if my camera battery was dead and I really wanted to do some work on something that day, I wasn't gonna not do the work just because I couldn't film it because then it would get dragged out way too much, but I filmed everything I could. I can fill you in on the bits that I couldn't film. And yeah, I hope you like it. I am so happy with it so far. Okay, so you may remember this is what the room looked like when I moved in. Very basic, very boring. It was one sort of like navy wall and the rest of the walls were like a bluish gray, which is pretty much just the exact opposite of what I was going for in here. I hate navy, it is my least favorite color. You think it's black and then it's not, so this all had to go. So I started by just double checking to see if I would need to paint the navy wall white before doing the red, which I really couldn't be bothered to do. So I was like, let me just see. Thankfully, it seemed like it would work fine just as it was. So that was my plan. Uh, that The rest of that night, I just spent building the desk in the dressing room because I didn't want to get started painting that late at night. So I just did this and I eventually got it together. It gave me some trouble, but I got this sorted out. So that is done now, thankfully. Then the next morning I got started. So I put a bag over the light covered the floor the best I could and off I went which is good because I got paint bloody everywhere if that plastic hadn't have been down it would be a disaster I stepped in it it got on my butt but I went ahead and started with the ceiling and the nice thing about doing the walls and the ceiling the same color is that I didn't have to be careful or tape it off to get like a nice smooth line I could just go nuts which makes a nice change because my least favorite part of painting anything is always the taping the taping is just so tedious, I can never be bothered. But yeah, off I went. Um, this is obviously just the first coat. I think overall I did three coats to get it all good, which I'm glad of because the first coat was not looking cute and I was like, oh, trust the process. But after three coats, it was fully good and sorted. So yeah, just went along and did that. Painting the ceiling's fun at first, but it's like really, really exhausting on your arms, honestly. But after I was done with the ceiling, then I moved on to the walls. Again, obviously this is just the first coat. I kept tripping over my pajama bottoms and dipping them in paint, so I just rolled them up. So that's what's going on there with the scrunchy butt situation. Um, this was such a workout, honestly. Like, I got more exhausted and like more achy from this than I do for the, from the gym. So I should maybe just not bother with the gym and help people decorate their houses and get fit that way. Okay, so I'm taking a little break from painting to let it dry before I do a second coat. So now I'm in the bathroom and I've just been trying to find little things to do. So I added more of these shelves. I put these shelves up a while back. I've just added these corner ones here. Just, I need, I need so many spots for all my things. Next, mirrors. There is no mirror in here. I have realized there might be a flaw in my plan because I want to put it on this wall and I got adhesive ones so I don't have to drill into the tile but I have realized the radiator's right there. I don't know if that'll cause an issue long-term with the adhesive, but we'll see. We'll try it. If it goes bad, then I'll put them somewhere else, but we'll give it a go. There we go. Certainly not like perfect, perfect mirror, but does the job. It's generally reflective. It'll do better. We'll see if it lasts. I will keep you updated. And back to painting, doing another coat here. Obviously it only went part of the way down the walls because the bottom half was gonna be black anyway, so. Yeah, it's really satisfying like seeing it become more opaque and like more how it's supposed to look. Then I started on the black on the bottom, so I did like all the little bits with a brush. The black really did not want to take to the baseboards. I'm sure it's not the right kind of paint for them or I meant to prime them or something, but I couldn't be bothered, so I just did a bunch of coats and it worked eventually. And then I went in with the roller and started doing all of the rest which again, it's satisfying to see it coming together. I don't know like what happened. I had so much fun painting the bedroom and like I got it all done pretty quickly and I was just like super focused on it. But when it came to time to do the office, like I just, I don't know, I had lost all motivation. It took me so long. It was so stressful doing the bedroom because the black goes on blue when it's wet. And I was like, please do not be navy. I, I kept convincing myself the paint was navy, but thankfully it was not. <laughs> 
So here's where I had to deviate from my plan a little bit. What I originally had envisioned was have obviously the red coming down from the ceiling and then I wanted to use a sponge to like have the black sort of fade up into the red if that makes sense. Like a sort of like spongy textured like fade. Um, and I started doing that. I'm sure it's, it's a trust the process kind of thing, but I was not. I was not trusting the process. So I tried a little bit. I might have like a little clip I sent to my friends of that. Um, of like the small little piece of that that I tried. But it wasn't working out and I was like, hmm. And my original backup plan was that if, because I, I didn't have a lot of faith myself. My original backup plan was that if the spongy thing wasn't working, then I would just paint the walls entirely black, have the red ceiling, leave it at that. But I really liked the look of the red, like, you know, seamlessly coming down from the ceiling onto the walls, so I was like, all right, well, what if I just do a straight line, you know, like sort of up to where I had painted, so that was what I went for, that was my compromise. I actually did reach out to a couple of professional painters before doing that to see if anyone else could do what I was picturing, and like, no one seemed to know how to do the sponge painty thing on the walls, so I was like, right, okay, we're just gonna do a straight line, as straight as I could manage by myself. I know they're like, it's crisp, but I know it's not perfectly, like, ruler straight. I tried, it's good enough, okay? And once I have more stuff on the walls, you won't notice that much, just, I did my best. <laughs> so, on to that. And off we go again, painting away. So obviously just doing the edges with the brush again, so I didn't roll on past the tip, which is absolutely something I would do. And yeah, just, again, I don't know, just satisfying, just, just pleasing. As I was saying before, I don't know why I didn't have, like, any willpower to do the office. Um, I got, like, a chunk of it done and then didn't do any for ages and then my friends ended up helping me finish the office which is so like the bedroom's all done myself but my friends helped me finish painting the office because I just lost the will to live but uh yeah no it was super fun doing it here gotta check the phone very important gotta see those updates um so yeah once all the little like brushy edges and stuff were done then I was able to go in with the roller but I just got like around all the sockets got along all the edges where I'd had to tip which again I hit but yeah, then roll. So obviously, again, this is all just one coat that you're seeing here. I did a bunch more coats off camera to make everything nice and dark in the way it's supposed to be. Look how blue it looks when it's wet. Do you see why I was stressed? Oh, dearie me. So yeah, again, it was like, trust the process. It was like, please, please be black enough when you dry. And it was, it looks good now. But for ages, I was just so convinced that I just painted my walls nearly. <laughs> And then it was time to peel, which I love. I was also recording it. There's the, that footage there. But yeah, no, like peeling this like tape off was so satisfying. I thought I had to wait until the next day to peel it, but I posted on Instagram and everyone was like, no, do it well, it's like sort of wet. And I was like, oh, okay, so yeah, great. And the next day it was time to bring all of the bed pieces in, which was difficult to do by myself. Everything was very heavy. But I got it. I got them all in there. Nearly died, but didn't. So, you know, I win. So I did not get any footage of me building the bed. Um, the camera battery was dead and it was just too difficult and just, I wasn't actually, <laughs> I was originally planning on waiting until I had help with it because it was really big and really heavy and I was like, I shouldn't try to do this alone. Uh, so a friend was going to come help me put it together, but then the morning that that was like, you know, of the day that, that was meant to be happening, I was really bored and I was like, Uck, I'll just start, you know, I'll just, I'll, I'll make a little start and I'll see what I can get done. And then like a couple of hours later of, of just sheer hyper focus, I was drenched in sweat and the bed was done because I couldn't stop. <laughs> Nearly died a couple of times, but I got it done. So here that is. The one thing <laughs> that I did definitely need help for, and it's the only thing I did get help for for the entire bedroom, was just <laughs> moving the mattress from the office where it was being kept into the bedroom because it is so heavy and like, if it were rigid, it would be easier, but it's heavy and flopsy. There was a there was a whole thing of me even just trying to flip it over when it first arrived, because I didn't want it lying on the memory foam side on the floor. I don't know if that would cause an issue, but I was like, hmm. So I was like, I'll just flip it over. If you want to see this entire mess with sound effects, and not sound effects, but just the sound of me dying, um, it is on my TikTok. I will link it below. I think it's also somewhere in my Instagram story highlights. Yeah, so I did actually try quickly that morning to just move it by myself and like I really could not. So my friend came over and helped me with that and here we go with that. <laughs> That's a very square mattress. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Two. <laughs> okay, you got this.
Okay, let's just go. Should we all, next one you get Hold on. Three, two, one. Go. I felt building this thing this morning. I was like, why is this more of a workout than the gym? Maybe. Oh, the bastard. Okay. <laughs> okay. Flip the side over. That actually protects the sides too. Yeah. It doesn't have like, like ours has like literally straps in the corner. So we did that. And here it is later on that evening when I put the temporary bed sheets that I had for it on. So my next step after all of that was I really wanted a bedside table. I've never had a bedside table. I've never really had a room that's allowed for it. I thought I was going to have so much more space for one when I was originally planning the room because I marked out on the ground how big the bed was going to be. Except I didn't mark out how big the bed was going to be. I marked out how big the mattress was going to be. I did not consider how much more space the bed frame was going to take up. So I was left with such a teeny tiny little gap and I was like, and I thought finding something nice to fit in there was going to be impossible. I found not only a really, like, so, you know, the things I wanted would be for it to be pretty, for it to fit the gap, and for it to somewhat match the rest of the room. I found one that fit the gap perfectly, like down to the centimetre, basically. It's pretty, and it just so happened to be the exact same style, like, obviously from the same set of furniture as my vanity table. Like, the, it's all the same stuff. The only difference was I found two of these on Facebook Marketplace in the middle of nowhere. I had to drive, it was a scary drive all down all these teeny tiny little country roads that could only fit one car and their cars could, woohoo! Found two of them. The only problem was they were silver instead of black, but I found two of these tables for 40 pounds. I was not about to, like, you know, turn that down because they weren't the right colour, so off I went near-death experience, got those tables, brought them back. So the next step, of course, was to spray paint it black to fit the room to match the vanity. So that is what I did. And so that brings us to the last real step of the bedroom furniture, which I did not get any footage of because my camera battery is dead and I just wanted it done. But I needed a dresser for the bedroom. I wanted one for the wall facing the bed, if that makes sense. I, obviously I do have my like closet dressing room, but I wanted something in the bedroom for like underwear and pajamas and things like that and just general bedroom storage. So I scoured Facebook Marketplace for ages to try to find something nice and there just wasn't anything coming up. So eventually I did give up on that and I went to Ikea and I just found a basic black dresser that fit the space perfectly. Just went with that. But I did put some cute little drawer pulls onto my Amazon wish list, and those were very, mo I think like two sets were very kindly bought for me and I quickly bought the last set, got all those through, thank goodness for Amazon Prime, and put those on. And it's made it look a lot less Ikea-ish, if that makes sense. Like I put a picture in one of my group chats and they're like, where's that from? That's not Ikea, is it? And I was like, it is, however. So yeah, that's a good way to sort of like change up Ikea furniture from looking quite as like so boring is just get like ornamental little things that you can add. And yeah, I like how it turned out. I'm still like considering adding like, what do you call them? Is it just molding? Little decorative wooden pieces anyway to make them like even fancier, but right now I'm happy with them. So yeah, did that, got those in, got the TV for the bedroom set up, did all the lights and everything, and now it is, fucking hell. He did just leave it at the door, which I'm glad if I hit open the door like, hello! 
Yes, anyway, the bedroom is now sitting, I think, mostly very nicely. Like I said, there's still a lot of decorative touches that need done, but for the most part, it is really cozy and really comfy, and I just really, really like it. So, I think it's about time we go up. Let's go! Welcome to the bedroom! So, I'm definitely going to do a bedroom during the day and a bedroom at night, because I think it's really pretty at night, but this is during the day. This is what you see when you first walk in. The bed is mostly made, except for this one corner, because Sebastian has been asleep there all day and would not let me make the bed. He's literally been there for hours. Oh, now you get up. <laughs> so yes, here we go. This is what you first see. I still need to get bulbs. Only two of the bulbs in the chandelier are working, so I need to do that, but I keep forgetting. But yeah, over there in the depths of the darkness is my little side table. Let's go have a look. This camera doesn't do amazing low light, huh? I will put some better shots in with a different camera. We have the bed, so I've got like this sort of damask bed sheet, but then the ones underneath are red. Same with the pillows. We've got the black on top with the red behind. Okay, I'm switching to the phone because that camera apparently can't do low light. So this is a little vanity. Sorry. Ooh, I need to replace this. I lost this at some point, but like you can kind of see like the designs on this, right? And if we go over to here, it is exactly the same, except obviously I had to paint this one myself. So yeah, I have got these little candles that you might remember from my housewarming gift unboxing. I've got like a couple of little room sprays here, little LED candles, and these turn on like every evening by themselves, which is really nice. So I come into the bedroom and go right on. Um, this is not mine. <laughs> I have, I just, I've just been putting like matches here because then I have the candles and then the little oil burner here, which is really pretty. And then I have a lava lamp here, which will be in an upcoming um, housewarming gift unboxing. It is on the way. This is a little projector thing. I need to switch this to a black cable because that's really annoying. I've got my switch plugged in here at the minute, but it's probably gonna go somewhere else long term. I have the TV with the little cute bat thing. Oh, and here's the dresser I was talking about. Sorry, I was unboxing some stuff, so there's like a bag of boxes there, but yeah. So I just replaced the handles with these cute ones and now it's much nicer. I've just got an extra duvet there, which I don't really need, but it's just there for the moment. I also have this, <laughs> which I need to straighten out. It got kind of crumbled and I thought it would flatten out in the frame and it has not, and I also need to redo the backing. But anyway, I've got, you can't even see it because of the reflection. Uh, we can see it at night time, that's what we'll do. But yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't have uh, my ring light up in the bedroom with me. I thought just it would be bright enough in here, but obviously this camera is a bit funny with like low light. So I'm just getting the red glow <laughs> from the ceiling. Demon. So yeah, this is my room. The bed is absolutely massive. I am obsessed. Even with me being tall, I can like the whole way and still be completely on the bed. <laughs> Okay, so that is all there is to show you right now. I will check back in with you at night time and show you what it looks like then. Okay, I am back. It is night time. I've been out all day. I am dying to take this makeup off. I can feel it sliding off of my face. It's been on for like 11 hours. <gasps> oh, but it is night time and now I can show you what the bedroom looks like at night time, which it doesn't look very different right now. But I'm recording this on my phone again because I tried it with the camera and like, on the phone you can see this is like a, like a brightly lit room. On the camera it was like all dark with just my face glowing red. So <laughs> I'm sure I could play around with the settings and make it better, but I can't be bothered with that right now. I just want to finish and go to bed because I'm actually very, very tired. But let's get on with showing you the little, little look at what it looks like at night time. Okay, so this is what I see while I'm lying in bed. I love it so much. It just like, it makes me think of like blood or something. I don't know. It makes me very happy. It's just but in a very relaxing way, vampy vibes. And then if I look down, da, 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 da. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it looks really, really cool. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Obviously it's not done. There's a lot still to do. I have a perfume shelf that I want to put up on the wall next to the vanity there. And of course I want more art and stuff, but I'm really excited so far. Sebastian is still stuck to me like glue. But yeah, this is what I've done so far. So I put the little LEDs behind the lights myself put little projector to do the thing because I had one of these like in the old hearts years ago and I really wanted another one so I've done that now and there's my little candles over there like I said and it's so cozy and it smells so nice and I'm just very very happy with how it's going so far yeah 
yeah, so like there wasn't like a huge amount more to that, but I just wanted to show you because I think it looks really pretty and cool and relaxing. So that was my bedroom transformation and update. I will have more of these for the rest of the house as the time goes on here. This is just the room that feels the most sort of like put together and complete. The living room's quite nice at the minute, but obviously I haven't painted or anything, so I'm not allowed to do that yet. And the living room's always like <laughs> in a constant state of like a little bit messy at the minute because that's where like the living is going on. So like whenever I'm unboxing things and trying to sort stuff out, there's things yet that don't have a place sitting around so it's like harder, but I will show you a little bit of that soon. I do have a video of Sebastian coming home for the first time, so I might kind of put those into one. But yeah, this is the bedroom. I'm currently working on the office, but I don't still don't really have like a strong direction for the aesthetic in there, but I am working on getting like all the practical stuff set up, so I'll do that soon. And then there's the closet, which is a whole separate issue, but I hope you enjoyed this look at the bedroom and the little sneak peek at the bathroom. I mean, that's probably like all you need to see of the bathroom, honestly. Not much more has been done, so it's not going to be that exciting, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear back from you on this. Just, I don't know, I had fun <laughs> putting this together and I don't know, it, it came out well. I'm just, I don't know, it's my favourite room in the house. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye lovelies! Yeah, Sebastian says goodbye too. <laughs> Bye!